A privilege escalation is a big challenge when you have a meterpreter session opened with your victim machine. In this tutorial, I will show you a practical way to elevate your privileges and become admin accurately without hesitation. So let's see what this tutorial lab will look like. My attacker host will be a Kali Linux, of course. Then I will use the social engineer toolkit to generate a meterpreter payload. Probably you're asking yourself, why am I using the social engineer toolkit and not using Metasploit directly? Well, the social engineer toolkit will use Metasploit anyway, and it will automate everything for you. Next, we will send the payload to the Windows 7 machine and infect it by executing the malicious file. At this stage, we will have a meterpreter session opened and from there, I will show you how to elevate your privileges to be an admin on the victim machine remotely. If you want later to learn all the steps that I'm about to show you in the demo, then I invite you to check out the blog article for this tutorial, which is available to you in the description below. Let's start. Open your terminal window and execute the social engineer toolkit using the se toolkit command. Next, choose option number one for the social engineering attacks. To create a meterpreter payload, you will choose option number four, which is to create a payload and a listener. The name here is pretty clear and it's self-explanatory. In this area, I will be using the Windows Reverse TCP Meterpreter, which is option number two. Before continuing this demo, I will maximize the terminal window so you can see better. So, this is our candidate. Let's write to and proceed to the next step. Here I need to write my Kali IP address, which is 192.168.0.102. I'll double check that my IP address is still the same using the if config command. Perfect, it looks good. Next. Set is asking me for the port that I will be listening on my Kali machine. I will choose the port number 443. I like this port because it's HTTPS and firewalls will not block it in a real life scenario. Check this out folks, the payload is saved in this directory. Next. I will say yes to start the listener now using Metasploit. Wait for a few seconds and the social engineer toolkit will start the Metasploit framework. After that, Metasploit will execute few comments to start the listener. Do you see how easy it is to use set with Metasploit? It's a lifesaver, guys. Next, I will open a terminal window to show you the location of this file. First, in my home root directory, I will list its contents. And somewhere down here, I have the set folder. It starts with a dot, which means that this folder is hidden by default. Let's open it and check its contents. And voila, 
This is a payload file that we need to copy over the Windows 7 host. Here on the victim machine, all I need is to double click on this file to infect it and we're done. Let's go back to the Kali host. Here you go. We have a interpreter session opened. To interact with the session, type sessions minus i followed by its ID number. I know that the ID number is 1 because we only have one session opened. So logically speaking, the ID will be 1. Let me show you the workflow of Meterpreter Escalation Privilege before we proceed. First, you will need to list the processes on the Windows machine and pick one to migrate to that process. After this, I will check the user I'm logged with to have an idea about who I am. Finally, we will execute the get system command to elevate our privileges. Now let's see if this is going to work. To list all the processes on the Windows 7 machine, I will use the ps command. Next, I will locate the explorer.exe process and note its ID. Let's migrate to this process and it's completed successfully. Let's take a look at the user that we're on. Next, I will switch to the command prompt to get more information about this user. It looks like that it is a member of the local administrators group. Wait, don't party yet. This doesn't mean that we're there. Let's go back to the interpreter prompt and try to see if we can elevate our privileges. First, I will execute the use prev command and then I will use the get system command. Check this out. The operation has failed to execute. What now, right? After all these hassles, and now we're stuck? Don't worry, I have a solution for you. And it's not Meterpreter. In fact, you need a powerful post-exploitation technique at this moment. Meterpreter is probably good for Windows XP, but now this operating system is a history. So, what is the solution, Gas? Well, you need PowerShell. And there is a tool that offers post-exploitation using PowerShell. And it's called Empire. I already have a dedicated tutorial about this tool. Check out on my channel to learn how to download it and install it on your Kali machine. I will open my terminal window and browse to the Empire folder, located at my home root directory. If I list its contents, I will see that the executable is here and waiting for my comments. Let's execute this monster. Since this is a fresh copy. You can see I have zero listeners and zero agents active at this moment. Not a problem. Let's start. First, type listeners to switch to the listeners mode. Second, I will use the HTTP listener and it's started. I will type listeners one more time to list my active listeners. Here you go, we have a listener active at this stage. Now I need to generate my PowerShell script. 
that I need to infect the Windows 7 machine. On your terminal window, type launcher, then the language name PowerShell, and the listener name is HTTP. Awesome. All I need to do now is to copy this fancy script and then go back to the interpreter session and paste it there. And we're done. Close this useless interpreter session because we don't need it anymore. On the Empire side, we can see that we have an agent active. Awesome. Next, press enter and type agents to list the active agents. Let's rename the agent to something more meaningful and start interacting with the non-admin agent. If I show the options, you will realize that the high integrity is set to zero, and this means that we're not admin. To elevate our privileges at this moment, all I need is to execute the magical command bypass UAC, followed by the listener name. Pay close attention here to this message. We have a second agent active. Let's see the information about this new guy. Check this out. We have an asterisk before the username. And that means it's an admin. Let's rename the new agent and interact with it. I will double check to see if it's really an admin. And you bet, I'm right because the high integrity is set to 1. Let's have some fun and extract the account's credentials using Mimikatz. Be patient for a few seconds before Mimikatz executes and finishes extracting all the passwords. Exciting. When you see the by word here, it means we're done. So press enter on your keyboard and let's see the credentials using the grads command. Check out these clear text passwords.